Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggie and welcome, wow, to the Uncanny Legends. Off, oh, we're back. We've got Neo Necropolis to start. We've finished the Abyss Gazers and so I guess we should just go straight into it and start it. Midnight Lyco Penny Pasta. I'm going to bring my uh, standard useful in many ways slot. And to start us off, it looks like it will be, because we're starting off with a Metal Doge, and we've got Paladin. Although Paladin is admittedly not the best way to deal with a Metal Doge. Shush, all of you. I need to focus. Look what's happened already. Glad I've got anti-critical hits, because we've got a Smurf appeared amongst the aliens as well. Lovely critical hit, thank you Paladin. Barriers are being broken at an acceptable rate. Please stay alive, Paladin, we still need you. Ultra Barbar. Oh, that's going to be an issue, isn't it? Do we have Barrier Breaker? We're just going to put everything out because I can't remember what has Barrier Breaker and what doesn't. Now, if I was sensible and have a Breaker Blast base... I do! Yes! Ha! Go on, my son. You thought you had the better of me, but no. I have covered all the bases. Look at me. Prepadio McGee. That's what they call me. They don't. But I'm still going to win. Midnight Lyco Penne. Stick that in your pasta bag. We got a victory. I say we got a victory, but uh, Ultra Barbars are built up again. So actually, as soon as any appear, we've only got the chance at victory the next time our Breaker Blast charges back up. So admittedly, this might actually take quite a while. I'll see you on the other side. No! Oh, I thought of a sensible strategy and I've just binned it. Wait for one more Ultra Bar Bar to come out. When the cannon is charged, use it then, because then you will have the maximum time to move forward. And not do what I've just done, and just destroy two barriers just as a new one appears. I'll see you on the other side again. We've won, and we've got an Eliminam Eliminite. Fantastic. Metro Asis. Everyone's favourite free newspaper. Fairly simple start off to start us off. Oh, oh, fancy that. A Razor Cat, level four worker cat. Keep an eye on the base. It's a cellar boodle, which means money. Come hither, you bankrolled individual. What shall we use against? Manic Macho would be fantastic. Macho legs, that is. Will for the waves, but it's fine. Jizo will take good care of it. Decently chunky cellar boodle, but they're never chunky enough to cause any kind of problem. I mean, even their massive variants aren't chunky enough to cause a problem. What's up next? Oh, different Master A's, okay. Okay, we'll start off with the Cyberpunk then, so it's a sensible choice. Lots of meat shielding, even more of a sensible choice to protect our Cyberpunk. We will bring in Peach Devils to get that red freezing, ideally. Oh God, right, lots. Lots of Master A's. A Avro 1? Possibly. Uh, Breaker Blast not going to be as useful here, but you know, we need it just in case of barriers. Just got to keep meat shielding here. We might not have strong enough meat shielding to deal with all of this, but I foresee that if the Cyberpunk stays alive, there's no way that we can really lose. Oh, nice. Okay, we've got a knockback on the Hall of Fame Master A. So, see you later, I guess. Yeah, definitely see him later. He's gone. Okay, everyone, thank you for doing your due day there. The Cyberpunk really is is smashing this for us. Doing a fantastic job. Ah, oh, even Gatcha, lovely. Shadow Gow is not going to be a quick way to deal with Master A, despite it being a traitless enemy. We're just going to have problems with shots being knocked off. Saying that, we did get a little bit of a freeze there. So that's a nice start. But again, it's about waiting for Cyberpunk to do what Cyberpunk does best, chip away. And soon we'll be able to do that in half the time with double the speed as the recharge time clocks down on Cyberpunk, allowing us to get another. Let's break a blast due back because our line of meat shields is looking a little bit thin. One more Peach Devils because we've got a nice little surplus O cash. Fantastic, we have a new Cyberpunk. Oh, it is, it is lovely having two kind of attacks spaced out. It really is lovely. I mean, they're not perfectly spaced out, but they do do separate things. And that's all I could really ask for. They're, they're doing a wonderful job. A wonderfully slow job, but I mean, there's not many stages in the Uncanny Legends subchapter. 
I'm in no great rush. As I think is probably quite obvious from my progress. Oh, man. Nah. They've bitten back. They've bitten while well, they've licked back. And it's day for a one. They, they've put up a strong fight, but no longer. I think we are now in the end game of their licky tactics. The devious lick shall be no longer devious. It shall be dead. And we shall win. Oh, so nearly poetic. But he survives. Little hairy git. Yeah! There we go, fantastic. Two holes in one. Paper Skyscraper is the new level in our quest, and I know nothing about it, so let's just go straight into it. Oh, zombies! Well, zombie background. I'm not gonna get swayed on it. I'm not gonna bring my zombie slot because I may just be being baited, and we don't want that. We've got a bro one, and that's zombie capable. What's good for zombies? Confusing them with erasers so that they don't burrow. That's what I learned in the in the Battle Cat school that I flunked. We're gonna have slapstick cats in the background, chipping away and hopefully stopping the chipping away that they're doing. No, you're not supposed to replicate my tactics. But a decent stack of slapstick cats, a level five worker cat, lots of erasers, and now it is performing in the way that I wanted. The constant swishy swooshy attacks of the slapsticks are knocking the zombies back from doing any damage onto my base. However, this is soon not going to be true. I feel like all of these slapstick cats are about to get routed by a load of funky burrowing zombies. So we're going to have to start this process all over again. And oh, get back, get out of it. What's just appeared? Oh no, ah, it's a relicky face. The best course of action for that cyberpunk always is. Gonna have to spam Jizo now, because there's been lots of zombies appearing, including some Zoris. I expected to, but actually our, our line of defense has stayed pretty strong. This, however, may be where it doesn't. I probably should have gone with my zombie gut on this one and brought something a little bit more anti-zombie-y, but we still got relics. Would that have really solved the problem? I don't know. But what I think I do know is that we need to try again. Let's do that. How do I do it better? Because zombies, we need to be fighting them next to the base. If I'm constantly spamming stuff, upgrading the worker cat is good for that, unlike when you're saving up for one expensive unit. So what do I do differently? Well, I have a different slot. Yes, thank you, commenter. But within the slot that we've committed lots of energy to, what can I do differently? Well, perhaps less slapstick spam, so that we have more monies for when the really dangerous zombie stuff appears. I imagine that's gonna have to be it, right? That and over one Maybe if we can get traction on just zombie killing some of these sieges, we'll get some decent monies out of it. This has certainly helped us regulate it a little bit better to start off with. Meat shield's looking decently strong. Coffin Doge setting out the enemy vanguard, and things a little bit calmer than they've previously been. Ebro 1 rooting a burrowing Zori out of the ground, which is excellent. But then again, the meat shields, they thin, and everything comes a little bit closer. Still, we're doing better than before. The, our angry, bad breath man might change that, but we're just gonna have to see. I am holding out hope for this run. The zombie killers is, is definitely helping. Cyberpunk's been engaged. We have gone up a gear, ladies and gentlemen. But what to do next? I think a nice, chonky, shieldy boy is gonna be my next step. Ava 0 the double Ava team. Let's get it going. Nice. Knocking back that Zori when Ava 01 was vulnerable. Keeping up the meat shields. Getting more zombie kills. There's two normal soul deaths for the Zoris. Thank you for that, Ava 00. Coffin Doge has befallen the same fate. Two meat shields is possibly challenging, but then you don't really want meat shields for zombies. You just probably want something a little bit better specialised. It's fine though. Bad Breath Man, as scary and imposing as he looks, isn't actually really causing us any material problems. I'm just gonna realistically be able to sit here and win, which is great. Okay, monies are a little bit problematic now. We are struggling quite a lot to get 
anywhere near affording anything. However, they're having no impact on us. Like, it, it, it really surprises me how little they are doing. I imagine it's because Bad Breath Man, with his animated green mouth smoke, gives me memories of Hanya and the force of Hanya, so I'm expecting to get steamrolled and all of our me shields just go every time he bites at me. But I can actually slow down, calm down, and not really worry about this too much. What I am going to do though is get another Avro one, because there is a Coffin Doge who looks like he could do with a little bit of zombie killing for a little bit of monies for us and a little bit extra ease. The next thing after that is going to be getting another Cyberpunk to double up on our chipping power. There is a soul death, courtesy of Cyberpunk, although that has put the Coffin Doge in a more difficult to reach position. Where's our second one? It is here! There we go, fantastic. Overall one's been knocked back, which isn't ideal, but it's still alive, which is ideal. We'll do a Breaker Blast, just as we're knocked back as well. Fairly equal footing, but then slightly further away from our base, which probably bodes well. There's another soul death for the Coffin Doge, and it's back again in an even more difficult to reach position. I think this is now going to have to be a game of patience with weak boy biting at me and Cyberpunk just being a champ. See you later. Ha <laughs> ha! Wasn't I right? Oh my goodness gracious me. We're on the fourth level. Ooh, that's exciting, isn't it? Short base length is the first thing I notice. Another simple start off, like the other level we were doing. Let me get a slapstick cat here for getting rid of the cellar boodle. That'll give us some money to keep upgrading the worker cat with. Everything very calm and lovely at the moment, which probably also means that things are about to get a little bit problematic when we trigger the base or when a timer triggers. So let's, without further ado, get all the way up to max worker cat. We're being encouraged to, in fact, and the amount of cellar boodle action here. So come on, let's get there. Cyberpunk, good start. Plus, chip away. I don't think we're going to be able to stall so much given the amount of meat shields that we have moving forward, but you never know. A few more of those, a little bit of Eva 0 and then we're just getting loads of money for free, so let's just start moving forward. It can't surely be that bad. We're as well prepared as we can be with the units we have, so let's go straight for it. Oh, okay, lots of relics, lots and lots of relics. It's a, it's a smug lumière. Uh, we've got slapstick cats, I guess. The rest of the stuff's gonna be, what's that, cursed or something. I'm, I'm not, I'm not au okay fait with the uh, relic language, you know, but meat shielding seems to be enough for anyway. Pretty static are those relic enemies. Cyberpunk, again, is probably gonna be our, our biggest success here. That and slapstick cats are gonna be what we're gonna rely on. I think the Ubers are just gonna try and fail to successfully get rid of all this stuff. So Shadow Gal might be a decent regulating force for the other squishies, despite some of them being floating in our own moods after all. But the relics do seem, as I guess relics wish to be, immovable. And there's now two of the Lemur, which is going to make things a little bit interesting for someone without very much anti-relic stuff. Our tall units have left us, which has left me feeling a, a little bit open and vulnerable. Although it isn't really that bad, I don't think they're contributing that massively. As long as we have the monies to keep wearing that slapstick cats, we're probably going to be fine for stalling this stuff. And guess what? We are going to keep having enough money to bring out slapstick cats because they keep bringing out so many squishies to give us free money. It's fantastic. Look at that. We've just got another cyberpunk as well. And the relic moves are gone. So we just left with a stack of what's that, two or three relic lemurs, which are now behind the base anyway. Oh, look how the turntables. Ha ha ha. Oh, there's a whole lot of stuff there. This is going to be a little bit of a cheeky fight to the end to try and get the damage in before we push back. I think we're going to get enough. We are going to get enough. We win. And free Aminimonite. Fantastic. Right. Concrete Ocean. Kangaroo! You may be heavily magnified, and that's certainly how you look. 
and not heavily magnified enough to deal with a level 20 plus 80 eraser cat. <laughs> ah, look, an otter. Okay, can I catch you at some point? No, I definitely can't. That was a poor strategic choice. I could bring out Shadow Gale at this point, but that would be too obvious. That would be too simple, and I'm not going to do it. Instead, I am going to use Meat Shields to stall and upgrade my worker cap and give this otter not the chance of thinking it can win. It died. We're going to be activating the base sooner than I would have liked. There's a whole lot of otters. Now I think is Shadow Gale time. There's also a Cappy there, and we're going to use our Peach Devils for that one. When we have the monies for it, which might be a significant difficulty. However, Cyberpunk has kept this stuff in stasis, which is desperately important for us. We need Shadow Gale to hopefully get some purchase on the Traitless Otters and get rid of them as quickly as possible. We now have the money to Peach Devils, which is good. And there's an injection of cash. Most of those otters are gone. Just a few Dark Otters left, and I think the Cappies are now our difficulty. What we really need is freezing from Peach Devils. Really, really need that, because the stuff that's there is too powerful to deal with while it's moving and attacking. Activate your procky power and have me win, please. I'm gonna get Avro in to try and help regulate, but it's not going to be particularly well versed against any of this stuff. We need freezing. We haven't got the brute force to be dealing with the cafes. So I need you to pull your finger out, Peach Devils. I see you're doing it slightly, which is fantastic. But I need you to do it a little bit more until I can get you a friend. Let's break a blast from that, which definitely helped. We now have the monies for another Peach Devils. I'm very nearly off recharge time. It's off recharge time. Okay. Two shots at once. That should give a decent probability of freezing the Cappies at any time. And look at that. Wonderful teamwork. Freezing and then a whole load of damage rained down. It's not specialised. Shadow Gal tries his best, but he's not anti-red. But look, we've only got the Cappies left. And although there are many of them, I think we are past the most difficult part of that. Phantasmic behaviour. All in one. Once again. Okay, we're on to it. The final stage of this subchapter. Look at us motoring on through. Unmanned station. Oh, it's the relicy background. Scary indeed. Squire Rails. I feel like I remember this as a common start off. Jizo splash damage will be very lovely for that. A relic doge. Okay, one slapstick cap. Lots of meat shields. Good relic peon stalling tech, I reckon. Maybe more meat shields than just the one repeated, but we needn't get any more anti relic stuff. We have a Star Shibalian pairing, that's fine. Probably needn't do too much about that. It can be uh, incorporated into the general splash damage, they don't seem to be too powerful. Two meat shields, a Jizo, a slapstick cap, almost now fully at max worker cap. Well, isn't that a lovely start? And we haven't compromised anything, or at least it seems so far, unless something's about to come out on the timer. Nothing there as of yet. What do I do? Probably a cyberpunk. Because we can keep stalling. It's gonna, well apart from then, be shooting past everything. So we can get our monies up to full. Get ourselves on the way towards another cyberpunk account. At least that was the plan. But now we're just, you know, tapping into the base anyway. And oh, that's not a nice surprise. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I do sorely wish that my Shadow Gal could be helpful against this, but it's not gonna be, is it? This is gonna be the height of interesting with two meat shields and a ramen protecting against an absolutely manic looking relic Arost. I mean, he's looking resplendent. Very fancy indeed. I, I do like your design, but I don't like what you stand for. Oh no, absolutely not. Cyberpunk is going to be crucial here, as is my meat shields being more powerful than they have any right to be. But actually, Shadow Gao is doing a fantastic job for this not being a traitless enemy. Shadow Gao is continually knocking it back and doing a very impressive job. However, I do fear that the Elder Sloths are going to chip my Shadow Gal away and kill it. Yeah, that would be the one. But we are managing to stay roughly where we are, thanks to Cyberpunk and the Meat Shields. 
I feel this will be more difficult without Shadow Gale and we're already starting to overshoot it. So that might be our issue here. If I was able to stall better, I might have been a bit more all right. I would have hoped that that would have slowed the Arost, but it doesn't look like it's going to. It's playing by a different set of rules by the look of it. The Elder Sloths are still very much there in stasis. That Jizo is probably a mistake. I should be prioritizing slapstick cats and nothing else other than meat shielding. I'm surely gonna get eaten into and, and bitten and deaded and yeah, right, let's try again. All right, so we know what we've got in store. So we want to use as few units as possible to regulate the flow of what we have at the start. And I reckon we can probably do that by sticking to the one slapstick cats. Thank goodness for their error attack as well, because that could have been a pretty ugly fate for my base otherwise. Two sets of meat shields while this stuff builds up, but just the one slapstick cat. And then we'll reduce the meat shielding when it looks like we're being a bit too powerful, like there. That was a bit of a mistake paying for the worker cat upgrade there. Really could have done with putting out a cyberpunk. It's all right. We got the monies again quickly and we're at level seven worker cat as well. So this is the crucial moment. Finding a way to be able to stall without having our base destroyed, which actually I think is going to be more difficult than I estimated it being. Oh, no, let's do that again. You, you to start us off with, get the most value I can out of the slapstick cats. And then we're going to get Cyberpunk as immediately as we possibly can. No more working out upgrades until we've got that and the recharge time ticking down. Make sure the Doge is within blind spot. And now, now we can start upgrading the worker cat. No, I've done two of them. Ah, trigger finger. Can't believe it. Oh, well, let's just try our best and also try and be as slow as possible. The Manica Razors may have been a little bit of a mistake. Hopefully though, they won't do enough damage to activate the base before the rest of the stuff gets there, which is the case. Okay, that Breaker Blast also only worked on the slots. Maybe that's a relic thing. I'm sure you'll tell me. We're gonna get Shadow Girl out later this time. because We don't have the monies for it now, so we can't do the old recharge time kicking down thing. So we're gonna bring it out when we're in a bit more of a sticky situation and we really need it. For the moment, it's just gonna be meat shields and slapstick cats again. Gotta try and find a way to regulate the money so that we can stay constantly above 6,000 so that when we do need Shadow Gale, we can get it at but a moment's notice. And I think Shadow Gale's gonna be needed now, quite frankly, if you look at that. It's getting very close to my Cyberpunk. Thank goodness for the knockback, Slapstick Cats. Lovely. I'm gonna break a blast them back again. I cannot have my Cyberpunk dying, but it, oh, it looks like it will. It looks like it's going to Shadow Gale, no! I need you to provide protection, you fool! You fool! Shadow Gale, as you can see, is excellent here, but not good enough. I think I need to find some kind of new tactic for this and I might have an idea this start off's like <laughs> a bit difficult for my uh, my lack of skill so we're just gonna press forward get the worker cat up to max but just press forward with it and then by the time we can afford cyberpunk I want to have it rock solid at my base we're gonna lure and push through though not really because it's not advisable with an Arost but somewhere between lure and push through and try and chip away and if i'm doing the the pushing as much as i possibly can probably gonna get shadow gale now start ticking away on that recharge time and hopefully down the line we will have enough money for a new one max worker cap we're at okay moment of truth no monies to try and prove it in this is going to be interesting we'll break a blast you back with all the units the chance of being alive which is you know their preferred state. Got to also bear in mind that I want to be affording Cyberpunk soon. So only meat shielding, ideally. Hopefully the slapstick can't stay alive. Oh, don't die right in front of me when I say that. Well, we're close to Cyberpunk, so I guess we'll just push for that and then get what we possibly can after it. Uh, slapstick cats, perhaps? There we go, okay. Order will hopefully now be restored. Thank you for the knockback, Shadow Gal. Much appreciated. Oh. They're really trading blows though, the Aros and the Shadow Gal. We get a knockback on it, it beaks us backwards. It's a real struggle. Cyberpunk now, however, is contributing. So that's certainly useful. 
Let's do another breaker blast. Shadow Girl is dead. That is pretty bad. Oh no, this isn't what I want at all. Oh, no, that's better. A knockback, right. Let's compound the knockback and get it back within Cyberpunk's range. Please attack. Please attack and please slow. Although, I'm, again, I'm not sure it can actually do that. Look, could be doing damage somewhere along the line. So, be quiet. Oh, much better. We like that. We like the knockback. Decent volume of slapstick cats. Not an ideal amount of meat shielding. But if we can knock back every time it gets close to my cyberpunk, we'll be all right. I fear this is not going to happen this time, though. Oh, that's close. That's a close run thing. Get knocked back more, please. Oh, goodness gracious me. This is interesting. I think, honestly, this is going to be, yes, the best run that we've had so far and our best chance of winning, I was going to say. That is pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with that one. This is, oh, no, 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 no. This is going to be, I was going to say, quite a long road to victory. The, the, no, 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 no. That is the opposite of what I want. I really don't want to die now. That would be quite embarrassing. Now, I do realise how all the slots work. So don't shout at me. These meat shields aren't just the, you know, chipping away. Because I might as well just get all the damage I possibly can. This it, it, it shouldn't be too difficult. As evidenced. Come on now. Only one Elder Sloth left. Let's go. Aha! You're about to attack as well, you fool! We win. I hope. There could be a second part to all this, but I think that would be significantly unfair. I think we can sit back and relax now. See the final million health chipped away from the base. We've done it. The entirety of whatever this subchapter was, done. All by myself. And there we go! 30 cat food, one leadership. It's all done, ladies and gentlemen. Whoop, whoop. I hope you've had a rip-roaring time. It's certainly been exciting, and as is rare for me, successful. So there we are. I'll bid you goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed.